greetings and welcome back to the channel so we have been talking a lot about target a lot about bud light and uh, quite a lot about all these uh, corporations that have gone woke and uh, i did come about a video that was completely disturbing and uh, sickening to watch because i understood that these um products or these companies um, are intentional about what they're doing and they're intentional because they want our kids <laughs> simple as that they want your kids and they want my kids we all understand as a society that children should be protected this goes across the board no one argues with that but when it comes to LGBTQ train the train the alphabet train this kind of conversation begins to lose steam because we feel that we should give them a voice. We should give them space for them to behave as they do. But how about us? How about Christians? How about conservatives? How about folks that have common sense? What do we do? Do we accept it? Do we tolerate it? I don't think so. This is where we say no. This is where we say enough is enough. Watch this video with me and see how Target has been supporting a company quietly for 10 years to change your children and my children without your knowledge and without my knowledge how fair is that to you and how fair is that to me so a boycott is not only necessary but demanded all right at this point we need to show them that we have had enough and we're not gonna take it anymore all of them all the corporations okay understand this statement it's been said you go woke you go broke i don't think this statement is has so much steam and so much power like it did in the past i think at this point this statement is what is going to help them stay away from our children watch this video with me on a Pride Month, LGBTQ clothing for kids, other merchandise, the retailer's market value reportedly down about $9 billion Good. after calls for a boycott started a little over a week ago. Good. Target has moved those Pride displays to the back of some stores, but we're now learning the retailer Ooh. has been donating to an activist group that's trying to push gender ideology into classrooms. That group called GLSEN advocates for teaching gender theory in all levels of public school curriculum. Mm -hmm. It also offers school districts guidance on hiding gender transitions from parents. But Target has been donating to this group every year with the company saying, quote, GLSEN leads the movement in creating affirming and anti-racist spaces for LGBTQIA plus students. We are proud of 10 plus years of collaboration right. with GLSEN and continue to support their mission. Martha, Target's dedication to this movement, it, it goes a long way back and it goes way beyond just the stores and this merchandise and the ceo is quite proud of it and i think they need to stand up and just own it and say to everybody if you don't like it don't shop here absolutely um a hundred percent so i think it's really important for consumers and parents and anybody out there to be aware of their take on this they proudly stand behind it as that support for GLSEN shows. So this this is what Target is, is pushing, right? This is what they're about. And you can make your decision about whether or not you, you want to shop there. I think it's unfortunate. To me, you know, I have a, a business reporting background, as you do, Dagan. Companies exist for a couple of reasons. Yes. One is to sell products, to merchandise, to employ people and to help them support their families. And if it's a public company like this is, it's to increase shareholder value, right? right? That's the mission of a company or a store in this case. They have wandered so far away mm. from their mission. I think this is a problem in education. It's a problem in a lot of Thank areas you, in American man. life. If you don't know what your mission is and what you're about, you're there to sell clothes, employ people, increase shareholder value. But they're here to preach about something, which is a whole nother avenue. And so people, it's good that people are becoming more aware of that because and then they can make their decision about whether or not that's something they want to support. Target 
partners with organization that pushes kids' genders to be secretly changed in schools without parental consent. And the CEO just about a week ago said, I think that these decisions on diversity, equity, and inclusion is good business, and it's the right thing for society, wow. and it's a great thing for our brand. Moralizing, they've taken a side that does not line up with a lot of their customers, of their Chris. Customers. And I think it should go beyond simply a boycott. I, I don't want to live in some kind of libertarian dreamscape where multi-billion dollar companies can target children for sexual grooming and pay for ch for parents to be cut out of decisions for this thing to go through schools. It's kind of wild to see this because, I mean, they keep people keep on trying to obfuscate. Uh, the governor of California said this is about racism and anti-Semitism. No, it's about targeting children. That's exactly what happened in Florida with Governor DeSantis saying, hey, you can't target kids anymore. It's not the don't say gay laws. You cannot target children. And for all these activists who claim it's just about freedom, it's not, it's not about kids, well, they sure do absolutely chimp out when, it, when, right. the, when these people say you can no longer attack children. It seems like it's a central core part of this ideology. And it's ever, and places like Target should not be allowed to do that. The American people shouldn't allow it. I don't believe. Guys, this is what I'm saying. If the LGBTQ trained community only stayed in their corner or in their circle and it was all adults, no one will be raising a fuss of this nature, okay? No one will be uh, uh, upset in this magnitude. The reason why parents are upset is because they're coming for children. They're coming for children. This is what makes it sickening. This is what makes it, oh my goodness, this is what makes me upset about this. And we're not going to sit back and watch this happen. So yes, that's a boycott for Target. Target is facing a boycott that they will have to explain. I'm sorry for the people who are working there. I'm sorry for all the people that are going to suffer because of this nonsense, that approach that they're taking. It's a store to sell clothes, sell a little bit of food, uh, uh, have a little pharmacy in there. What does that have to do with LGBTQ? Answer me. Someone answer me. What does that have to do with, with LGBTQ? You've lost your way. And that's to all the businesses. You've lost your way. Stick to what you do. There's a company called Public, uh, Public Square okay that is picking up so much steam now because conservatives and christians and people who want to live in a free nation are are basically flocking to that website okay because they don't insult you they're rather they rather have the same values as us they understand what it means to have a mother and a father in a home to raise children they understand the hard working efforts of parents to protect, uh, to have a place for their children, to live and to protect their children. That is what it's about. So your ideology target, your support for this company is not okay with us. And you are not gonna force this in our faces anymore. So we're boycotting, yes. We're boycotting your store. And that's for all these organizations out there who dare to come after our children. You come after us, you will go broke. It's as simple as that. We are not going to take it anymore. Hey, it's, it's so simple. Everyone out there with some common sense will agree with me. I said it. Everyone out there with some common sense will agree that children should not be one of those things that you toil with don't toil with children allow them the a place and give them a place to grow and, and be nurtured not this idea not this idea it's as simple as that hey if you like these videos i want you to go ahead and comment i want you to su 